probably deal with some of the most complex disorders and diseases that people can have. The days are gone when somebody came into hospital and if they were told you need a brain operation, they felt that was it, that's the end of it. Now they have hope. Uh, and I suppose that's really what I get out of it, is that I can give people hope and I can tell them we can make you better. I'd love to say I leave it behind, but I don't. Uh, I take it very much home with me and it, I think most surgeons do. You, you take your work home with you uh, and you take the stressful parts home with you for sure. People put their faith and their trust in you and it's very rewarding and it's very humbling to have that. But I suppose at the same time it's very, um, it's very demanding. To really push forwards and get uh, to the cutting edge. We really need constant funding to get more and more new equipment. I suppose top of our wish list would be this intraoperative um, MRI machine which uh, we would use during a case. And patients have scans outside of the operating environment in that they have scans before and after surgery. But there is a device called an intraoperative MRI machine which allows one to scan during the case. It doesn't take long to do. The scanner is just brought into the operating theatre or a situation is created whereby an MRI scanner is annexed to the operating room and um, one the patient can be brought into that and then brought back to the theatre if necessary for further surgery or maybe not for further surgery. To install an intraoperative MRI scanner the cost would be approximately 2 million euros. Although the upfront cost is high, we then reduced the hospital stay, we would reduce the number of times a patient has to go to theatre and all of these things are actually huge costs to the health service that we can, we can cut by having a, an intraoperative scanner. I think we need it, I think other units abroad have it, I, think, I don't think we should be any different to those. There's no need for us to be second place to anybody and it's not only for our patients who second place to anybody, so we, we need that piece of equipment. Obviously as a group of neurosurgeons we want to produce the best care that we can, provide the best care for our patients, uh, but we need help and assistance from uh, those who can help us raise funds for our patients and we are grateful to Bowman Foundation uh, to have started this process with us to jointly uh, go out there and encourage people to uh, donate to Beaumont uh, Neurosurgery, National Neurosurgery Department uh, to raise funds to improve the care for our patients.